Hey guys, D Mike here for another episode of Super Nintendo Sunday's Yoshi's Island. We're gonna go ahead and wrap up the last two levels of this world, and then next time we'll do the bonus. Let's get started. Hope they're all doing well. I'm still relatively congested, as you can probably hear in my dumb voice. Oops. Not very often you go the other way. Weird. Going right to left in my Nintendo game? What? And I can't... I forgot that you can't eat the penguins. You should be able to eat whoever you want. I thought this was America. Alright. How do I do this? I have one egg. Bop, got him. Alright. Even when we're sick, viewers, we still got it. I have been... Sort of congested. Sick. For like more than a week now and uh it's really frustrating i think the worst symptom of all of this and no it is not what you think that it is it's just a cold being congested obviously is annoying because you have to constantly be like blowing your nose and whatever but i would say the war Ooh, I was not ready for that look at these guys look like the things from uh angry birds oops oh boy whoa Nice recovery, you're welcome. But um, yeah, I think the worst part of being congested is, at least in my opinion, my humble opinion, which is not grounded in any sort of science, is um, not being able to smell and taste things. It's pretty frustrating. And I've been explaining this to people recently who, I don't know if it's like I'm doing a bad job at explaining it or if they've just never experienced what I am saying, but for me, the um, the not smelling and tasting thing obviously is is an annoyance. It's very inconvenient because I enjoy eating food, as I'm sure a lot of you do. I have been around people in my life though before that have said that they only eat to have energy, which I feel is really weird, and I couldn't personally do that. I definitely like eating. I like having a variety of foods in my diet. I try to stay relatively healthy when I can. I don't cook for myself as much as I used to, but, you know, hopefully we'll get back into that someday. It's a little sad to be cooking for one, but anyway. Um, the, oh boy, this level is all over the place. Where's the other platform at? But yeah, not being able to smell and taste things is obviously annoying. But the point that I was trying to make is I have the inability to... Oh, it drops onto that. That's nice. It's kind of like that. Those uh, platform levels with the their saws, but I thought they were like cheese graters or like blenders when I was a kid because I'm dumb. I had all kinds of weird random names for enemies and platforms and the like in uh, the, the other Super Mario World. But is uh, I can sort of taste and smell things. I know that that's probably a very odd concept if you think about it, but I can taste that something is sweet or salty or spicy, right? Along those lines, but that's about it. Why is the, oh, so where did it, whoa, ho, ho, was not ready for that. I'm probably dead now. Where does this take me? Oh, I made it. Nice. So I can have like the essence of, of taste and flavor and stuff, but I can't detect anything specific. I take a multivitamin every day like a good boy, and they're gummy vitamins because I'm an adult and I like fun things, and at least in my opinion, that's the way to go. Ooh, that was awesome. I, I nuked him from the side. That was excellent. I'm just getting all kinds of lucky here. Oh, I didn't know you could scoop those up with your tongue. Look at that. But, um, yeah, so, oh, I don't think I'm getting through here. Nope. All right. I do not have enough eggs for that. We will be rewarded with the midway ring, which I will gladly take. But yeah, um, the vitamins are like fruit flavored, they're gummies. And I can tell that they are sugary and sweet and delicious. Whoa, what is happening here? But beyond that, I don't have any sort of ability to detect what flavors they are, if that makes sense. Like I can tell that they are sweet and that they're fruit flavored, but I can't tell what fruit it is presently so it's a bit of a bummer obviously it's annoying you know nothing i could do about it yet 
I've been taking decongestants, so hopefully those will do, uh, oops, okay, well, we're definitely dead now, I have no idea where Mario is, well at least we got the halfway ring, so that's good. Also, if it seems like I have less lives than I should, it's probably because whenever I fire up the game, I don't necessarily pick the right save, so I just go with whatever I find. But anyway, yeah, so, for instance, like, my favorite of the, um, my favorite of the gummy flavors is the red ones. I like red-flavored things, cherries, strawberries. Not watermelon, though, I don't really care for that. I think watermelon, especially artificially flavored watermelon, is one of the worst things ever. I hate it. Oof, not today. Fool me once. Oh, there we go. Oh, I didn't get any of the flowers, though. No bonus for us. I thought I grabbed at least one. Oops. My bad. This level is decongested, or congested. I wish it was decongested, because then I could smell and taste things. 100% though, pretty good. Very nice. Yeah, I probably should have tried to at least get one of those flowers. Oops. Okay, here we go. The boss of World 5. Raphael the Raven's Cat. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Whenever I think of this, it's, um... I go, I go back to, like, uh... What is it? The, um, like, Tetris Attack? That's where I know all of these, like, one-off characters, because I didn't play this game as a kid. Whoa. That ice cream cone is going all over the place. So, that's where I think of these characters that you are probably all very familiar with. For many of you, whoa. What is happening right now? Nope. Stop. For many of you, these characters are timeless, and you're very familiar with all of them, but for me... I haven't seen any of them, so I don't know. Whoa, whoa, whoa. The Tetris attack was where I remember at least the majority of them being present. You could you could go up against them as like the uh the challenger. So you would do all the various courses like the like the dog and the the stuff and things. So there you go. I don't know if we've seen a shy guy throwing a mace around before. It's kinda neat. I can not do that. Can I, can I scoop you up? Whoa. Can I scoop you up? Whoop. There you go. You're not so tough. What is this? Oh, okay. You can fire. Whoa. No, not cool. I don't think we can... Oh, we can freeze stuff. Alright. I like that. It's a cool power. We'll stick with that for now. Well, I'm out of it, so I won't, but... If I would have been more proactive, I would have had one more. Looks like we've got bullet bills that bounce around. Don't know if I care for that. We will survive. Ooh. Hold on a second. Can we do like a little, there we go. How do I get that? I do feel bad that I didn't even attempt to get the. Oh, did I grab it? I think I might've gotten it. That'd be sweet. This has been a much better performance in this episode than expected, considering that I am under the weather and also very bad at this game. But I'm doing my best for you viewers, whoa. As I always do. Yoshi's making that face that I make whenever you have like a, um, whenever you brush your teeth and you eat a piece of gum, you ever do that? And then it's just so cold and you can't do anything about it. How on earth are you supposed to get up there? Well, I'm not getting that. I have no idea what I'm... Can I get this? Can this pop down? Alright, what's the hint for the day? What? You can grab it? How? Oh. I didn't know that. Well, I'm gonna have to deal... How do we... Uh, boy. This isn't going to be super annoying or anything. Oh, well, that was apparently incredibly effective, so go me. Just really crushing it right now. Pretty, pretty happy with this performance. I'm going to ask for a raise from my supervisor, who is also me. All right. Nope. Oh, no. Oh, boy. Come back, Mario. This is what I get for not 
cleaning house the first time. Yeah, I didn't know that you could do uh, you could do that with these. I wasn't I wasn't aware of that. But then you gotta you gotta fire away real fast, or else you won't. Oops. There we go. If you don't do it quickly enough, then you um, you'll run into a little bit of trouble. Okay, I'm feeling pretty good about this so far. It's not as bad as that dumb, uh, oops, as that dumb cave castle. Did not necessarily care for that one. Could have done with that. I mean, once I got the hang of the gimmick, it was it was pretty interesting just because of not having experienced something like that before. But it definitely it, it wore on me very fast. So we'll say that. How do I get onto this? Oops. Okay, great. We'll just try again, as we always do. This is interesting. I don't know how this factors into the lore of this, but like we're in like outer space or something with all these weird birds, which aren't real. So it's oh boy. All right. Well, you know what? I could just have you let me ascend. Safe. Nope. All right, not too bad. I'm not gonna be upset with that. I'm trying not to complain my current uh, vulnerable state of my health. It is getting very annoying though, having to deal with this. I'm the kind of person who does value like cuisine and I'm not like a foodie or anything. Like I'm not gonna go to a restaurant and being like, oh, I have to try the escargot brunch you know like filet mignon sandwich like I'm not gonna do that or anything but you know I like what I like and not being able to come on not being able to eat food and then enjoy it in the same way is obviously a little frustrating which I, I mean I mentioned this and it's an inconvenience for me given my current state of health but you know I will come on this is getting this is getting annoying um, you know I I'm mentioning this right now. It's an inconvenience to me. It's temporary, I hope. I'm assuming that, you know, in a few days I will be up and at them. Although, it's been a few days, so you would think that it's been long enough that my body should be able to figure it the heck out. But, um, I, I, I have people in my family that permanently don't have a sense of, like, smell. And when I think about that, I'm like, how do you taste anything? Like, how do you, how do you live? Because it's got to be inconvenient. It's got to be really obnoxious. I mean, you get used to it, I guess, but... We will never enter the Koopa Kingdom. To twinkle in the heavens. All right. A little bit of... A little bit of religion in the uh, Yoshi's Island universe, I guess. All right, so I'm going to see what happens to this bird. Okay. Ooh. Whoa. A little bit of a cutscene here. Are we doing battle outside of the arena? Oh, he's a big boy. What is happening? Alright. Oh boy, this is gonna- Oh no, I don't like this. Dislike. Oh, oh, I see. We gotta trap him. That's really tough to- Oh, we gotta just time it just right. How are we gonna do- Oop, there we go. There's one. Oh. Oh, I would have had him. I like this fight. I mean, it's kind of it's it's unique. Is he gonna stop on the? Oh, I don't have that one yet. Oh man, I gotta be careful. I don't run out of um. I don't want to. Oh man, I don't want to run out of uh, HPs. I guess you could call it that. In these moments when I don't have anything. Also, what does red mean? Like, is that? Gotcha, punk. Yeah, this is a nice little fight. Also, the constellations in the background are kind of an interesting choice. Whoa, he is hopping mad. I don't have that one. I guess you just have to kind of wait until he falls into a spot that you do have, because if he doesn't, then you're just kind of sitting. You're a sitting duck. Whatever he is. is, he, is, is are his eyes crying? Also, apologies if this is, like, messing with your vision, because it's messing with mine. I know that. All right, there we go. Wait, is that it? That was two hits. I didn't hit him a third time, did I? Unless this is just like a fake out. Oh, we turned him into a constellation. We murdered him so hard that he turns into mythology. 
Huh. Nice. Good go for us. What astrological sign are you, giant black bird? I'm the raven. Tell me about my horoscope so I can just ignore you. 100% performance. Pretty incredible. All right. Well, that went a lot faster than I thought it did, so I guess we'll just leave it there. In the next episode, I'll be doing the bonus level of World 5, and then we'll move on to the final world, which this game is actually taking a lot longer than I thought it would. I, I guess doing the two levels per episode was a way to keep things brief, but I didn't realize that, you know, obviously we probably still have another, I don't know, a couple months of Yoshi's Island ahead of us, but I'm sure you guys are all enjoying that. So anyway, I've been D-Mike. This has been Super Nintendo Sundays with Yoshi's Island, and I'll see you next time. Bye.